My dear friends in Christ, today we see and many are questioning, sometimes even you yourself might have asked this question, why all the wicked and bad people in the society are being rewarded? Sometimes we come to conclusions, even God might have blessed them abundantly because of their marital favors that they enjoy in their lives, my friends. So we question why God cannot see their cruel, wicked, forgery acts that they engage in, why they are being rewarded. So we question and we get ourselves frustrated. And we question also saying why all good people are being bombarded with suffering, persecution, rejection and condemnation my friends today in the first reading the answer was very clear in letter second letter to timothy chapter 3 verse 10 to 17 saint paul explains what persecutions i endured yet the lord rescued me from all of them Indeed, all of us who wants to really serve the Lord will have to go through these persecutions and sufferings. That's what St. Paul reminds us today through Timothy. When he writes to Timothy, he says, Be ready to face persecution and suffering, but the Lord will be always there for you and for me as he was to Tim, Timothy and St. Paul that he will deliver us. He will rescue us, my dear friends. So we need to have our faith strongly rooted in the Lord because believing it is not so much the, the wicked and the bad will be rewarded because the destructions that they would face in life in time to come would be unbearable and intolerable my friends but whereas the reward of the people who are being favored by god will be unimaginable my friends so my dear friends i caught all who want to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted and we need to be ready for that my friends and word reminds us today the wicked people and the imposters however will go for bad to worse so my friends God will be their charge so what we need to learn is to lead a good righteous holy life my friends all scripture is inspired by god and is useful for teaching for reproof for correction and for training in righteousness so that everyone who belongs to god may be proficient equipped for every good work so my friends We need to equip ourselves and train ourselves, be skillful how to lead a good life. Our guide would be the Holy Scripture because in the Bible it's already written all necessary guidelines to lead a good, holy, righteous life, my friends. So let us turn to the Holy Scripture. Read it, reflect it, and live it. When we live the scripture, we will be called the sons of God. Amen. God bless you. Have a nice day.